Hello, friends, and welcome to the Cold War Prepper. Please go to your local congressman's office and pick up one of these for free. Read it. I would say memorize it because it's becoming extremely important. Inside, there's also another piece that I think is critical, and that's this. I'm going to read the first three paragraphs of that to you. Uh, so this is an official U.S. government document. Uh, an action of the Second Continental Congress, July 4th, 1776, the unanimous declaration of the 13 uh, United States of America, the Declaration of Independence. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bonds which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitled them, <coughs> A, de a decent respect for to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. Uh, oh, I'm having problems with lighting here. Um, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Uh, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed that whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, uh, it is the right of the people to alter or, or to abolish it and to institute a new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence indeed will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light or transient causes, and accordingly all experience hath shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms uh, to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, evinces its uh, design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. So that's a historic document. We'll be celebrating that birthday uh, from 1776 here in just another week or two. Uh, so in, in accordance with that, uh, over this last weekend, uh, the 19th, I think, yeah, no, 18th and 19th, uh, the, uh, we had the Texas GOP convention down in Houston. They came out with a couple platforms. Uh, you know, they want to... Uh, remove any critical race theory from classrooms in Texas. They want to uh, remove any gender identification uh, indoctrination to the children. Uh, they want to establish requirements for sex education and parental approval for that sex edu education. Uh, but I think they said no, no earlier than, than the age of nine or fourth grade. Uh, but this is the key. This is the one I want to read to you uh, that's in accordance with the Declaration of Independence. Uh, now, you have to remember uh, that Texas was the Republic of Texas. Uh, we gained our independence from the uh, Mexican government in, in, uh, after the Battle of San Jacinto. And uh, San Jacinto was just shortly after the Battle of the Alamo. So those are our important dates here in Texas. And uh, so let me just read you what, what this came out of. This was from uh, Yahoo News. Cheryl Te is the uh, author, uh, issued Tuesday, June 21st. Uh, the Texas GOP floated the idea of seceding from the U.S. in its latest platform. Uh, the Texas GOP has suggested that it might secede from the U.S. In the document, the state GOP called for a referendum on secession on the 20, 2023rd elections. Uh, the referendum will determine if Texas should reassert its status as an independent nation. The Texas GOP is pushing for a referendum on seceding from the U.S., a split that could lead to the state becoming an independent nation. The state GOP outlined its intention to press for such a, random, a referendum I'm sorry, in a document from its Platforms and Resolutions Committee, wherein it specified its demand that the state holds a vote on the matter. Uh, so in Houston, during which it also voted overwhelmingly to reject the legitimacy of the 2020 election. Uh, the document, and, and I, I think that part of that was because it hasn't, there are suspicious activities that have never been investigated. People just said, no, that's, this is what happened. It's, it's, it's valid. Take our word for it and let it went on. There's never been any real investigations. And uh, I think that's what's leading them to that is, you know, if you're going to put yourself in a position where you're, it, it appears suspicious, at least provide proof that nothing suspicious did happen. 
Uh, and I think that's the concern of a lot of citizens right now is, you know, if we're going to have if we're going to have vote counting, don't shut down the vote counting and have one the, 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 the other party leave the room for three or four hours. And then all of a sudden a whole bunch of new votes appear and, and say, no, it's all legitimate. You know, tell us where those votes came from. Tell us how they came in. Uh, let us recount those. That, those are critical things. But that's not the main thing. I think the main thing is the secession. So the document, which contains a section on state, state sovereignty, calls for the state to hold a vote and outlines, outlines the party's opinion that the federal government has impaired its right to locally self-govern. Per the document, the Texas GOP proposed that any federally mandated legislation that infringes upon the 10th Amendment rights of Texas should be ignored, opposed, refused, and nullified. Texas retains the right to secede from the United States, and the Texas legislature should be called upon to pass a referendum consistent thereto, the document reads. So there you go. Texas is planning on seceding from the Union in 2023 if it passes a majority vote. Um, so uh, that's, I think, part of the problem, and, and, and I think there are going to be a lot of other states that might follow. Uh, we heard uh, some people say, no, you can't do that. The, the, the war, the invasion of the South that took place in 1861 has proven that states cannot secede. Now, let's go back and take a look at what happened here. In 1861, 13 states said, you are not allowing us our Tenth Amendment rights, and so we're going to leave you and form a new government. And so that was a separation or a secession from the United States, formed a new government. Then the United States, uh, federal is invaded that new sovereign state. A civil war, look up the definition, I encourage you to, a civil war is when two vying factions are fighting to have control of one government. The South never fought to control the government of the North, the government of the United States. They said, instead of trying to control that government, we're going to secede from it and relieve ourselves of those obligations. The same thing we see here with Texas doing. So uh, then, the North didn't like that, so they invaded the South and forced them to rejoin after losing the war. So it wasn't a civil war. It was an invasion of an independent country. At least that's the way we look at it down here in the South. Um, <clears throat> I would encourage you to be very, very cautious of, of where you go. Stay indoors as much as possible, uh, probably for the next week. Try to avoid uh, downtown areas of, of municipal areas. Uh, avoid being close to any uh, birth uh, assistance centers, uh, pro-life centers, be, uh, stay away from any uh, abortion clinics, stay away from, I, I hate to say it, but probably stay away from Catholic churches. We've seen several Catholic churches uh, vandalized here in, here in the country uh, simply because we believe that life begins at conception and that the, uh, that the fetus is a, a living being and so uh, aborting it is, is, is basically murder. Um, but we just value the, 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 uh, the value of human life. And uh, so we've, our, a lot of our churches, we've had people stand up in, during mass, which we consider extremely sacred, and, uh, and, and unclothe and, and uh, object and, and do all kinds of stupid things. So the left is going to do all kinds of stupid things. They're going to uh, be violent. Uh, Jane's Revenge has said that they will be violent if Roe v. Wade is overturned. So the last day of this docket year to announce Supreme Court decisions is tomorrow. And uh, then uh, basically they have one more week, but they're not going to issue any more decisions during that week, or it hasn't been announced that way. They publish their calendar in advance. <clears throat> and then for July, August, and, and September, they go on break. October 1st is the beginning of the fiscal year for the U U.S. government, and that's when they come back and begin their next season, their next session. Uh, so, tomorrow we have two critical decisions going to be announced. The first one, of course, is Dobbs v. Jackson Women's uh, Health Organization. We saw a released uh, draft of that decision uh, indicating that it's possibly going to overturn Roe v. Wade. A lot of organizations have threatened violence if that happens. A lot of uh, Democrats have threatened to usurp the Constitution, pack the courts, uh, change D.C., from a district to a state so they can get two more senators and then add Puerto Rico as a state so they can get two more senators so they can pack at the Senate and bypass the constitutional uh, uh, super majority uh, of 60 votes to, to pass a bill in Congress. Uh, so, you know, we're seeing that usurpation of rights. Uh, I, I'll either have it my way or we'll, we'll alter the government in order to have it our way. 
so there's all kinds of things going on that are going to be very, very volatile for the next week. Uh, I encourage you to avoid those areas, please, for your own safety. Don't go out. Uh, and whatever you do, uh, don't wear anything that's going to identify you as either side. Um, you know, uh, <coughs> I think self-identification is the key to your destruction. So uh, be as gray man as possible. The second one is going to be Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Kennedy versus Bramerton School District, uh, which is 21-418. Um, and that's the one where the, the coach knelt on the 50-yard line after the end of the football game. And the school district said, you can't do that. That establishes a religion. Uh, now, I did a previous uh, uh, response to uh, so special, um, Sports Illustrated's uh, threat that this is going to ruin our democracy. But if that's the case, how, were, how did we remain a democracy from 1776 until 1984 when the first you can't say a prayer in, prayer in public uh, uh, ruling came down? <clears throat> but the other one I, I still have questions about and I still want to be identified with is if kneeling on the 50-yard line establishes a religion, can you tell me the name of the religion, what its basic tenets are, where it meets, who its people are, what the converts to that religion have to go through in order to convert to it, uh, where the tithings go, uh, what is their uh, 501c3 status. Uh, so all these questions about an organized church. I, I would like to know how that happens just by kneeling on the 50-yard line. Uh, but anyhow, that's me and my cynicism. Um, <clears throat> so with all that, uh, I just want to encourage you as part of your preps, uh, you know, stock up. Things are not looking good. Uh, there, we've got internal strife, we've got external strife. Uh, please, for your own good, uh, make sure you have some form of protection with you at all times. <clears throat> I, I, I now can't kneel, and, and there are portions of the Mass where you have to kneel. And so I sit in the very back of the church uh, where there's this, a pew, especially for disabled people like me who can sit and stand only. And uh, so one of the things that after we've had some of the, the, the things that have happened uh, in Catholic churches, uh, by the pro-abortion groups, uh, I like to sit where I can observe everything that's going on and if necessary use my cane uh, to, to have the person respect our religion and what we believe is going on at that time. So this is Lee. Uh, I wish I had better news, but uh, the, the Cold War prepper, and remember we're all in this together so we can come out the other side together. Togetherness is the key. Take care. Bye-bye.